Hello. Uh, 50. Chat, hello. 49, 48, 46, 45, this actually me nervous. 40, <laughs> now I'm upset. 40, 44, um, 43, 42. Uh, I can hear you on the stream. Yeah, you guys are, you, we can all count down together now. It's Oh, okay. Be Ten. Yeah. I don't know what number we're on. We're on 42. Really? Wait, I'm lost. 42. We're 41. on 42. 41. 41. 41. Oh, I can only hear 40. you, Joel. I have really bad news. 40. Uh -oh. 39. Are we all, uh -oh. oh, no, I can hear myself. Beta. There we go. I can hear myself. Okay. We're, okay. Oh, we're okay now. Okay. 37. 36. 36. 36. Oh, it's, it, I clicked the button too early. Now we're all here. Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. 35. Who in control I think. This? I can't count, so. 33. <laughs> I can't count backwards. You don't We're need live, to know how Steven. to do math. To We're live. You, know, the you don't, over, you guys. which We're is live. the best thing. Get well, it together. Welcome. Are we saying what, when you say live, do you start? mean like live? Like is the video on? Mm -hmm. Can everybody see us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, hello. Welcome to welcome Inside of Blaze Ball. Inside of Blaze Ball. I thought everybody was Here we go. at the same time. All right, I'm putting the title back up and we're going to do the countdown again. This is okay, let's do it again. 10? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do it again. All right. Okay, great. Okay. 10, okay. 9, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, five, 5, 4, three, 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 two, two, 1. one. Sam, take go. us away. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inside of Baseball. This is, um, this is our first time doing this, which should be obvious to everybody by now. This is beta. Uh, this is this is as beta as it gets. So we are doing a stream where we're going to be answering all of your questions and just talking, hanging out. Uh, everybody on the team has read your questions. I have not, so that's going to be a whole thing. Um, <laughs> and we'll we'll see where this takes us. Yeah, we're going to try to do it. this. We're going to try this. Do this like in a lightning round thing. We have a lot of questions and not a ton of time. How? How long are we trying to do? Is this like an hour? We didn't decide how much time this is going to be. Yeah, we much. haven't talked yeah. about most of this. So. <laughs> well, it's kind of late already. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. We do, have, we do is, have a surprise announcement. We're supposed to say that. Right? Oh, surprise. yeah. Oh, yes. right. Right, right. We have a surprise announcement for later. We'll do yes. that at the end. Yeah. It's so. Should we time this around. in innings? Like, is this an 18 inning stream? It's much more than an 18 inning, inning stream. <laughs> oh, we didn't say that. That'd be stream. fast, actually. Wait, like hold, a on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Play ball. Play ball. Let's go. I feel Here like that was necessary. I'm sorry if it was loud. Uh, it's the top <laughs> of the first. Uh, if you are just joining us and you are not on our Patreon, first of all, uh, thank you everybody who does support the Patreon for supporting the Patreon. That's an amazing uh, thing that you do, and we are very appreciative of it. If you are joining us and know nothing about why we're doing this, it is a uh, the honor of our honor to answer questions as posed by uh, one of the tiers. Do we name the tiers, y'all? Have we named it? Inside it's the of inside of baseball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, inside right. Of Sorry, my bad. It's the name of the stream. Um, have we named the stream? Did you name the stream? Inside of Blazeball. I think it's just Blazeball. <laughs> We're showing our creative brilliance here. Right. This it's, is it's the caliber of our creative. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are we? We are what answering are we questions streaming? as posed by uh, the Inside of Blazeball tier on Patreon. We're going to get through as many as we possibly can. We're going to do it at a two minute uh, timer for each question. We're probably going to all talk over each other, as you can see, uh, mm. obviously, already. And hopefully it is fun. Um, I'll be watching chat, and I think I don't know if anyone else in the group has chat open, but I'll be watching it uh, to try and see if there's any technical difficulties that you're experiencing. So if there's skipping or lag or something like that, let us know. Um, we can't do anything about it, but it'll be really good information. Yeah. <laughs> good for the yeah. future. Yep. Yeah. If something goes wrong with the stream or you can't hear anyone, blame me. Uh, somehow they put me in control of this machine, and I don't. I don't get it. So, uh, if you're watching this and have never have no a, idea what baseball is, we can send over about thirty to forty different explainers that might help you get up to speed. Well, you think they just accidentally clicked a link here? Like, yeah, you they know, they might have been browsing. <laughs> yeah, there could be. They're browsing Twitch. Yeah. Parker's Someone's on, a... on Twitter and wondering what yeah. it's all about, and they ended up yeah. over here. So, They're looking for yeah. Among Us and ended up in baseball. It's a natural, <laughs> yeah. natural thing. And, and to someone... be clear, to be clear, Parker is not allowed. In Twitch, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, no parking no. here. 
We gave Parker no a way. bunch I've... of tasks right before this started. Yeah. The idea that Parker <laughs> would have access to a webcam and Mike is absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah, Parker wouldn't be able to figure it out. Parker doesn't even have a webcam, so. <laughs> anyway, enough <laughs> trashing Parker. Parker's doing a great job. Um, he is. Well, the previous <laughs> Parker is doing Let's... a good job. Is everyone ready to meet our friend? Yes. The timer? Let's do it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to I'm try... so impressed with what we've done. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Okay. I am. I am. Sweet. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to try to answer as many questions as we can and just do two minute fast answers. Um, if we go over a little bit, that's okay. We're going to have. We're gonna have time. So why don't we get started on these questions? Do it. Whew. All right. Uh, who's, I'll read the first one. I will ask, um, I will ask this first one. Uh, this first one comes from, uh, it says from not Parker. Uh, and the question is, what? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, that's a good start. Yeah. Um, who is like, yeah, that's a... anyone want to take this one or? No, I think we can just blow past, yeah. past that. We got, I don't have anything to say. Record time. We just gained. Thank you for subscribing seconds. for that question. Look, uh, I got to burn a minute and 45 seconds. I don't know how to restart this timer. Is that a real question? <laughs> just in what? Here, I'll do a, I'll do a quick review of. Oh, oh yeah. yeah we're gonna just yeah, pick a random book. Oh, your manga. Yeah. That'd be yeah. awesome. Um, Oh, there, I, here we go. Okay, reset. Next question. A great start, right? Let's pat ourselves on the back really quick. We're killing it. All right. Uh, this next question is from Blues. Blues. Thank you, Blues. The question is, what are you majoring in? Wrong answers only. Sam? Minecraft. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you had a you had a solid shot to just push some Mass Effect right now, and you went. Yeah, with Minecraft. I can't believe yeah. you didn't say Mass Effect. Uh, it's I'm Minecraft, like... respecting women and weed. Okay. W. All right. Good stuff. Um, I'm majoring in vibes. I'm I'm still trying to figure those things out. So yeah, it's a it's an ongoing process. Mm. Yeah, I'm majoring in holding a bat. It's it's all I can handle right now. Uh, a lot of. A lot of tough courses in holding a bat. Sam, I'm uh, I'm majoring in drinking Lacroix very slowly and delicately. I'm really upset right now because that was literally my answer. Was <laughs> I ma well, I'm majoring great in minds hydration? Think alike. So uh, <laughs> yeah, Lacroix is gross. We're I agree with Chad. I'm not saying it's good. Look, but you guys, it's quarantine and we all have our vices, okay? We're uh -huh. one question in and we're already in the look around the room phase of answering questions. Yeah, I was like, That's how we <laughs> name people too. Can hey, now that everyone's level? answered, I can tell you that this was a meme and you all failed. Oh. A meme? Also, thank you for the everybody meme. in the chat that's memes. defending LaCroix right now. Our I, meme I expert felt a little attacked. chiming in for that. What is the meme? Yeah. Uh, it's like a Tumblr post and it's like, what are you majoring in? Someone says Minecraft and there's like a whole bunch of answers that don't make any sense. Uh, oh. I'll send it to you later. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Elena has to explain a lot of this stuff to us. Yeah. Elena explained TikTok to us recently. I did. What? Kind of. Not to me. Y'all, I don't speak for we yourselves. We can do it live on the stream. I know what TikTok is. Oh yeah. We're on TikTok now. <laughs> is TikTok and... the app that just keeps sending me notifications? Yeah. Keep yeah. It, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, I know TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with that one. I'm familiar. Yeah. Okay, here, I'll I'll do are we are we good for another one? Yeah. Well All right. my glasses. I can't see. Did, did the timer run out? Not yet. Yes, it's at zero. There we go. Oh, okay. Wow, nice, nice notification. Nice. nice. All right, let's reset that bad boy. All right. Um two okay. minutes on the clock. Thank you, Blues. All right. This is an anonymous question. Um you guys said you're pretty strict about letting the sim do what it does without interference hold on i have to open the window uh how do i move notion but are there moments that you broke the rule and stepped in as gms and fudged the roles on any aspects be it idols blessings or otherwise any moments you didn't but really thought about or wanted to yeah uh there was one time early on uh -oh. that, um 
I did put my thumb on the scale a little bit. I feel weird about it. It was really the <laughs> point that like, it really tipped us. That's when the rule became very uh, like solidified that we weren't going to put our thumbs on the scale. But it was back in season three, or beginning of season three, when we introduced Peanuts. Is that when we introduced Peanuts, or is it season two? Season three. Season three, season three right. We introduced Peanuts, and... Um, the peanut allergies started spreading, uh, which I don't even know how that happened. But I, um, I went through and had to manually set the peanut allergy of every single player. And I, I'm sorry to admit that um, I, I set Jessica Telephone to not have a peanut allergy. Disgraceful. Well, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. We should have a trial for Joel. <laughs> yeah. Look, no, uh, no more know, trials. Yeah, you know, at the time <laughs> no I thought more. there's no way this will happen where Jessica Telephone gets hit by a peanut and it happened like season four or something. It happened like yeah. shortly after that. And uh, yeah. It happened a couple times, I think. She, Jessica Telephone just kept eating peanuts and getting stronger after that. Yeah, well, just once. No, just had one. Are you sure? Had one yummy reaction. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because then Jessica was a- shelled and then became super allergic. That's right. Um, that wasn't the only time that you did manual stuff. Because this is like, just I want to shout out Joel real quick here, because there were multiple times where like, you know, behind the scenes, like say like the shelled one is on screen saying things and we're waiting for the election results to come in and then their site is not exactly updating the way that we were hoping it to, meaning it's not updating. And then Joel would like see the election results and manually go through and update all of them one by one wasn't putting his thumb on the scale. He like actually. Oh yeah. 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 You know, it properly, I want to be clear. But... The one time I put my thumb on the scale and changed something because I thought it would be narratively bad was Jessica Telephone. Uh, the her peanut allergy. Uh, do you do you yeah, remember any? Do you remember any times that we've wanted like where we've felt like oh I wish we could but. I it's funny like the only ones that come to mind for me are ones where we thought it might be good if we did. And then the Sim did something more mm-hmm. interesting as we watched anyway. Yeah. So yeah. it was like all of us debating like, Oh shoot, would this be good if we had planned it? Or is, would this be better if we'd put our thumb on the scale? And as we're expressing that the Sim is proving us not wrong, but just sort of <laughs> spitting in our faces repeatedly yeah. that we're <laughs> trash and it's, it's the <laughs> the true writer of the game and we should, you know, be humbled, etc. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I do remember Ruby Tuesday getting to a certain point where it was like, yeah. okay, Sim enough, like, please, mm. please just stop. Um, and fortunately, you know, it backed off after a while. Yeah, that was, that was rough. Uh, we didn't, but we didn't, and we we've just learned to stop worrying and start trusting the sim, and it mm-hmm. paid off. So mm-hmm. sorry, yeah. we ran out of time a while ago. I'm gonna Whoops. start getting yeah. more strict about this. <laughs> well, We're okay. It. Look, hi Goku. Oh yeah, hi Goku. Oh, Goku hi Goku. Goku. Are we allowed to say Goku? Is that are we? Is that yes? Are we parody, sued? parody. Right? Okay. We can oh, say that. No, we're fine. Yeah. Why would Goku be banned? For, like. Just the name Goku. <laughs> I don't know. Just that one specific. Look, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, Akira Toriyama. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next Who's question. Clearly watching Next question. Stream. Two minutes on the clock. Who's, I'll read it. Okay. Um, this question comes from me, 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 see? Uh, so thank you. It says, we are in the middle of a grand siesta and we want to make blaze, make sure Blaze Ball doesn't burn out, burn you all out. Wow, I can't read. Do you think you will be maintaining the season per week schedule or have you had other ideas on how the game may be paced? Yeah, we've been talking a lot about that during Siesta. And um, to be honest, we haven't completely finalized our plans just yet. But the short answer is we're not going to maintain the exact schedule that we did before because it is completely unsustainable. And not just for us, which it is. Um, it's not sustainable, we think, for for you all, too. You know, baseball moves at such a relentless pace, and we want to give everybody the opportunity to catch up and to, you know, really participate in it and not feel like if you take one week off of the game, then you've missed out on, you know, an entire story arc. Um, or, you know, we also don't want you to have to, like, tune in so intensely, too. We want to make it easier for you to participate in the game, no matter how much you, you want to put in. 
Yeah, and we're up to changing the formula. I actually, I remember back to um, our test seasons, and at the time, games took about 10 minutes, and they ran every 30 minutes. And I remember mm. feeling, I remember feeling like shifting to an hour was going to be so painfully slow. I remember thinking like, are we, is this really what we're doing? We made the change. It is so much better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we'll we'll keep playing with stuff. We've talked about a number of different options, like taking. How many games did we originally things. have too? Huh? How many games did we originally have? I think it was did always ninety nine. Was it? I thought we did more than that. At we first. played. We played with more for sure. He did. I, yeah, and, early and on. And cut it down. I thought. Maybe. It might have just we had more teams way. early on too. Yeah, we did have more. That's teams. kind of a fun fact. Oh, we had yeah. how many teams did we have originally? It was thirty teams. Um, oh my god. Right. 30 te- that was actually my dad. I was getting him to test, and he was like, please, I can't keep track of all these teams. Like, <laughs> please reduce the amount of teams. So it went Forbidden down teams. Thanks, Dad. Um, <laughs> not the Ohio astronauts. They were not one of the teams. <laughs> uh, Joel, I think people were asking for your mic to be up just a little bit. Like this? Is this good? Hey, hold that position a for the rest of the stream, please. A little louder. Yeah, I just don't, sit right there. Don't move. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to do the audio. So you're. I mean, if it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> I think. I think your mic itself has a bit of a volume thing, right? Oh yeah, that's right. You, you're totally. You could just up yes. the volume on your mic. Yeah, one hundred percent has a volume thing. So how is it sounding? <laughs> is that better? Oh great, great. It's a little better. It's still. No, it's a little distorted. That's okay. We can figure it out later. Is it? Next question. Okay. Next well, question. I'll keep fiddling. All right. I'll read this next one. Sure. This one's from uh, from Hallstar Kromsler. What's something you wish the baseball audience knew about the development process that many don't? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't see. Didn't start the timer. I was trying to fix my mic. Okay, here, boom! <laughs> time begins. Okay. What's what what was it? Um, what's something <laughs> about that we the development wish process? The baseball the audience knew about the development process that many don't. Oh, huh. um, there's a lot of things I am glad that the community doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, is that a good answer? Um, I think. Hmm. This community has been so uh, overall on the whole, so understanding of not knowing things uh, and be and allowing things to be mysteries and allowing things to be sort of in beta, if you will. Um, and I, don't, I can't think of a single thing that I wish they knew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, right. maybe that it is like the things that the things they already know is that it takes a lot of work. It's a live product. There's tons of time that you have to put into, you know, at any given hour, um, you got to be ready to log on and see what's going wrong with the sim, etc. But that kind of stuff you all, you all already know. Um, well, to build on that a little bit, Felix, like since um, I'm talking about the amount of work that it is, maybe one thing that's kind of cool to share is that uh, part of our process is every single day we have a, a writer's room that's about two to three hours long where we are just talking about what's happening in the community, the plans for the game going forward. It's, um, yeah, it's every, day. every day, every day, bunch cats, every, every day. day. Yeah. And, and it can be longer sometimes too. To give it yeah, the, it goes, they go long happening. like three, if we hit, if we break at two to three hours, we've done really good that day. Like we, yeah. we nailed it. We, we broke the, broke the record on how quick we came together on that. We honestly need more time than that. Like that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's so much to figure out every single week. And so it's, but we, we have do to it. do, yeah. Cause we have to do, you know, blessings and decrees for oh, the, you know, the following tree, week. D- Keeper Treetop had a good point here. And I know we're over time, but I'm going to just say it is that uh, a lot more people could know that it, there is a plan. Um, oh. I know it feels incredibly haphazard and incredibly uh, like off the cuff, but we do have plans and like that, that relates to this sort of um, three hour a day meeting type thing. Uh, but like there are plans and when 
everything comes together it feels incredible and like one thing we love about the audience is that you often pull it all together in the exact way that we hope you would mm -hmm. uh and that's amazing like it, it isn't up to us whether those plans <laughs> necessarily come to fruition it is a little bit up to the audience <laughs> and the sim but we do have a plan and more often than not it does come together in the best way possible so that's that's been amazing yeah it's a lot of setting landmarks um that we'd like to hit um, or planning for edge cases, talking about how a new change will affect the game and then how we might, um, you know, balance that with another change coming later or what the effect of that will be. And, you know, then planning for edge cases and then seeing what the community uh, grabs onto. So while there are landmarks out there and we're planning, you know, even some of our, like, some of the events that we know we're gonna hit might have to be able to be, you know, flexed a little bit or moved a week later, or depending on, you know, what everybody wants to do. Yeah, uh, I, sorry about the timer no noise. Yeah. I just turned it off. Uh, I hear it was very loud. Thanks for bearing <laughs> with that. Uh, so the timer is something that the audience can hear, but we cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Great, good. You guys can't hear it? It like no, I don't hear anything. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's like a normal volume for me, but that's Turn because I'm playing from my computer. No, oh. but I think it's going straight through to Twitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it's awesome. gone now. I think I, there's. Cool. We're Hopefully. good. Next question. Joel's doing a great job. Yeah. Next question. Who's next? Um, I don't know where. Here, I, I got this one. Uh, here, this one uh, from Joey T. Badger, the Sports Hub. What is one of the most delightful bugs or mistakes, quote unquote, mm -hmm. that you have experienced with Blaze Ball so far? No, sneakers, you can't have my light. Sorry. <laughs> put sneakers. put sneakers on stream. But yeah, yeah, put sneakers on. Sneakers are making, it, making their way into every <laughs> call. There we go. That's one now, of my favorite. Now. Now we're cooking with gas. Now I'm, this is Blaze Ball. I'm pausing yeah. the timer. We need a sneakers moment here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sneakers. Oh. <laughs> sneakers. The chillest, the chillest kitten. The stream got really. so much better. He wants the light. <laughs> he wants the light so bad. Um, because it's full of cables and <laughs> he knows he can't have. Find your light, here, sneakers. Play with your tail. You love when you play with your tail. Yeah, your, yeah, get your tail. There we go. Everybody loves that. <laughs> Everybody loves that. <laughs> oh, wow, you. chat really does like sneakers. Wow, yeah. okay. Great job, well, everyone. That's all we gotta do. Yeah, it's it's just, all we had to do was show a pet on stream and then... Where are my dogs? <laughs> Resuming time or just Yeah, go get us. your dogs. I don't know where they are. This is go the sneakers moment, this two minute window here. <laughs> we got... I just, did you put it on the timer? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got control of the timer. I'm I hope sneakers use it. can't hear so, the So, all right, sneakers can help yeah. us answer this. What was what was our favorite bug or one of our favorite bugs that happened and surprised yeah, us? Yeah, favorite bug or mistake, quote unquote. Mistake. Hmm. Okay, I'm resetting the timer for actually answering it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna put sneakers down. Goodbye, sneakers. Uh, you had a minute of fame. There's <laughs> two main bugs. I mean, I feel like in every interview I talk about polka dot Patterson's fingers mm -hmm. timer. <laughs> Uh, that, so Polka Dot Patterson having 87 fingers was a um, complete accident and I had no I, when I saw that going through chat I had I thought it was just like a funny lore thing I was like well this community is very creative coming up with 87 fingers but uh, that yikes uh, that's real Polka Dot Patterson actually has 87 fingers, and it was a complete yeah. accident. Uh, I, I think my favorite, I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say Grand and Slam, but I've said that a bunch. So, the, uh, the crabs, triggering the black hole, uh, yeah. early. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Just, you know, so for anybody that doesn't know, this is like a peek behind the curtain. We were all um, on Zoom together, watching, you know, the game play out. And, um, you know, when that, it, it just like hit so quickly that I wasn't sure what happened. We all just kind of stared slack jawed at the screen for a moment and then just started yelling. Uh, that was not, not what we expected to happen. Um, 
They broke they broke space time. I blotted like, that one for out the of my second memory. time. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think we literally said in Zoom like that didn't happen. Like yeah. we're just gonna deny that ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one uh, little fun deep cut from early on was um was how shame was born. So we uh just hadn't put in any logic to handle what would happen if you know the the um team took the lead at the bottom of the ninth and uh eli who was working with us as a web developer early on he like reported that as a bug and joel says to me oh, boy, like hey say i'm like should we fix this and we were both like no no, no let's just yeah let's just fake that right <laughs> in. shame shame was the og like like um we're gonna lean into our bugs telling the story and make the bugs part of this game because uh, mm. i really it was actually probably a very easy fix but i just I just marked it as won't fix, and I was like, yeah, no, we're just going to narratively explain this one. Uh, so, yeah, shame, shame, everyone. It's shame on us for not fixing that, but also it's like people love shame. You got to keep the shame. Yeah. You want me to do the next one? Yeah, sure. let's do it. Okay, this is from Heather. Um, what was the most unexpected thing that the community did? Uh, grow really fast. <laughs> <laughs> the most uh, honest answer. <laughs> yeah, like uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Besides, and I, f I feel like we talk about necromancy and sacrifice a lot because, you know, that's like, those are the obvious answers. Like, who, we kind of expected those, but we, it was yeah. also just the fact that it happened is still so shocking to me. Yeah, we knew like we knew you could bring a player back potentially. We just didn't know that the community would jump on it. Immediately and then, figure yeah. out that you could do that. And then immediately follow but up with sacrifice. But yeah. yeah. The the people can bring someone back thing, I remember it being within minutes of us going like, Oh hey, I guess that's that's a thing you can do, right? Uh oh, that's fine. If they find it, we'll be we'll, yeah. we'll run with it. And then like Five to ten minutes later, <laughs> the community did it. Like, just like started doing it, and I was like, "Hmm." Mm -hmm. Here we yeah. Go. yeah. Yeah. Well, well uh, like the first thing was, I was like, "What happens if someone on the idols board dies while being on the idols board? Do they stay on the idols board?" And that's where like that little symbol, like, yeah, was throw, born. Throw the skull on it. Yeah, that will that would be Dying. good. <laughs> Fine, it'll be great. Yeah. yeah. It won't be a yeah. problem at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, building off of that too, I, that was like the first time where like propaganda campaigns really stuck out to me and just like seeing, seeing those campaigns start and like now it's just a common thing. Like everybody has to make a propaganda campaign in order to get their blessing like that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. It's that I didn't expect that at all. So, yeah. I will also say like the community is constantly surprising us both, especially outside of the site. Like there's music. I mean, we didn't expect that, you know, all yeah. the art. It's just, yeah, we've kind of been blown away week by week. Oh, yeah. When we started hearing the first music, it all shattered us. That was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There were a lot of tears. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. a lot. It's really good. We're even, like, watching the birth of the, the RP community in real time, like, as soon as place Fall went up, and then so Twitter count after Twitter count after Twitter count, and we were just like, come on, really? Really? Mm -hmm. A news network? Yeah, <laughs> Blazeball, Blazeball yeah. cares. Like, come on. Yep, amazing. Yeah, Blazeball yeah. cares was incredible and is incredible still. Yeah. Yeah. The first cyber like white paper. Like, oh, like yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was, I think was that yeah. Blaze running. <laughs> I think yeah. it was Blaze running. That blew me away. <sighs> okay. Next one. Next question. We're doing great. How many questions have we made it through? Um, like what seven. Six, I think. It's been thirty. We already sure that we can't six. count. Yeah, Abs seven. We've gone through seven. Nice. Oh, All good. Right. Yeah, that's a good. Did case. you count the what from the non-Parker? Yeah, I did count Parker's. <laughs> okay, questions. so six. Yeah. Not Parker's. <laughs> that's a question. All right. <laughs> we spent two minutes answering it. All right. Next question. Um, oh. This is from Big Moose Steak. Um, Good. What, what does the game band envision a non-beta release of Blazeball would look like? 
Um, exactly uh, the same. It's exactly <laughs> the same. Uh, it's the same. But and by non-beta, do you mean alpha, gamma? Yeah. Right. Yeah, there are lots of letters. Yeah, we can go back. There Wait, are, yeah, Felix, please recite the whole Greek alphabet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know the whole Greek alphabet. <laughs> Phi is in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beta yeah. two. Beta two is good. <laughs> Mu. Right, yeah. uh, I'm just going through physics constants. I don't know. Beta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Omicron. So. Right, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the the beta tag there because it is kind of a funny story. <laughs> so, the reason the, the the decision to put that tag on the game was made the day before Blazeball came out. We were like, this is buggy and a mess, and we should make sure that people know that this is not a final thing. Um, how could we possibly communicate that in a succinct way? And we're like, oh, let's call yes. it a beta and yeah. be done with it. Like, I think it's part of the title now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like most decisions are made on Blazeball, it was, <laughs> I, uh, it was a panicked call in the evening. Yes. Right before something yeah. had to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we were like, like, oh my God, we're launching this thing tomorrow. This is not going to stay online if we get more than like 50 people playing it. Yeah. What do we do? Oops. Yeah. Oops. Yep. It's beta. <laughs> yeah. It really right. set the expectation though, right? Like I love how much, how willing the community is to like be in on it with us, that it's kind of a broken thing and that it's a mess and... Um, that gives us, that makes it so much easier for us to make this thing. Um, and I think in some weird way, putting that beta tag on it, let us, let us do that in some way. Yeah. We have 10 seconds still. We have two seconds. No, we don't. We're good. So oh. I imagine taking it out of beta oh, will be like a last minute decision too. It'll be like one day. We're just like, let's do it. We put it back in alpha. <laughs> yeah. It's right. going yeah. back. Alpha yeah. is next. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I'll do the next one. Lightning uh, round. The last one. Let's get it. Um, where did I put it? Oops, okay. All beta. This is from Keeper Mountain. Who would you get to direct the Blazeball movie? I think Steven and I have the same answer. You can do it. Um, is it are we doing the combo or are we just doing the one? Just you each get one. Just yeah, the one? It up. Oh, okay. It's, no, you can do it. It's David Lynch. Yeah. Uh, it's... Wrong answer. Okay. Well, correct Who? answer. Uh, it's, it's Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi? Sam Raimi. What? It's Sam Raimi. Same, he, same Raimi? <laughs> yeah. He can do the That's blood the effects name. from Evil Dead and the just the comedy in general from Evil Dead and also Spider-Man. Right? Yeah, I was about to say Spider -Man. that's like And also Spider-Man. Also, yeah. yeah, we get Sam Raimi on it. Everyone's going to go see the movie. Yeah, Tobey Maguire plays Toby every Maguire. character. Toby Maguire's in it, and he does play uh, Jessica Telephone, I guess. Yeah. Who's the Toby main Maguire character? plays every character. Yeah. <laughs> this well, is I, the, um, the worst oh, answer. <laughs> yeah. No. The best answer. I think we said it was a combination of uh, David Lynch and is it Pendleton? It was Pendleton. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Ward. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, like a Phil Lord, uh, like a Lord Miller version of. Mm. I, I mean, I so respect the Lego movie, and that's not just because of my obvious like Lego fandom, but I so respect it for being an adaptation of a thing that wasn't scripted. Mm. Like, I think that that's something that we would be looking for. But at the same time, uh, the only person who could do it justice is David Lynch, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want a Christopher Nolan no. super serious. No, absolutely yeah, not. That's fired. Really not. I like You're, Nolan. No, no. it'd be very not. great. No. Also, I'm seeing also. <laughs> Some some options in the chat that I'm just gonna shake my head at. Yeah, what are the what's chat saying on this one? Wes Anderson. I, uh, oh, Taika, yeah, Taika. Taika YTT could do something with it for sure. Mm. Yeah, uh, I feel like Taika should do the second one, not the first one. I feel like we should get like five directors in a room and they have to somehow figure it all out together. No, the, so we get we get every just, director we just named and they all make their own separate Blazewell movies. Right. And they all, like, you go to the theater and you get a random one. Actually, we need to let the simulator write it. I think that's yeah. the only cl yeah, clear thing. Absolutely. About yeah. Yeah. No screenwriter. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to see. It looks <laughs> like works. everybody in the chat is, is rooting for the Christopher Nolan. No, version, no one so. is. I think. Uh, I saw Wachowski sisters. That would be really nice. That would yeah. be great. Like that Jupiter would be great. Ascending. 
Wachowski's. Yeah. Yes, like Jupiter Ascending. I will defend that movie until the day I, I die. The, the, the sky ice skating is amazing. I love right. that movie. All I is... know is the bees thing and that he's a dog for some reason. Oh, it's true trash. It is perfect. <laughs> it is so good. Yeah. Are we talking about Delicious. Jupiter Ascending now? Is this yeah. what we are? Yes. This is Jupiter Ascending chat now. How did Channing Tatum and Mila Kunis have no chemistry whatsoever? Zero we... chemistry. Zero Channing Tatum. It's Shocking, amazing. right? Shocking. It's, it's, okay. Both independently that such movie. hot people, no chemistry whatsoever. Next it's question. <laughs> He next question. Question. Two minutes That's on the it. clock. Yeah, next question. Next question. Two what? minutes on the clock. That's okay. fair. That's fair. Uh, what piece of media... With, who is this from? Sorry. Um, this is from Let's Go Mills, Baby Love to Mills. Uh, what piece of media scared each of you the most? Like fan art of media or just... Just as media. You just media. It's, like, it's like the, the Sports Center Peanuts Get Your Peanuts video, 100%. <laughs> I watched it like six times. Uh, it got me a little machine? bit more frightened every the time. Sports uh -huh. machine one? You mean sports machine? You said sports center. Yeah. I said oh, I did. Sorry. Yeah. It's a lot of sports yeah. stuff. <laughs> it's also my favorite piece, I think. It's yeah. great. Um, okay, but are we is it non baseball stuff that we're I'm doing a non baseball thing. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, Mine was okay. uh, the Enigma of Amagara Falls. In high school I read it and it scared the crap out of me. It's the Junji Ito story. And then also, I watched mm, yes. Tusk in college, and that didn't scare me as much as, but it did give me nightmares. Uh, mm. That movie, I didn't like it. <laughs> Not uh, very good. Not good either. <laughs> the first movie I saw, the first horror movie that I saw in theaters was The Descent, and like I oh, still. That's a good pick. I good. that movie still scares me. I like will dream sometimes about those creatures. I. Even uh, no, move on. Ne someone else. <laughs> the uh, I'll, I'll say that like when I think about it, like the scariest movie that I saw when I was younger was like The Shining. That like stood out to me. But the first thing that popped into my head was the poster for uh, this movie, Fire in the Sky, which is like an alien abduction movie that right terrified now. me. And then um, Ernest Scared Stupid, which I think might also so, be the scariest movie. <laughs> sorry. Ever. Ernest Scared Stupid is genuinely terrifying. It's so scary. Is it's it? so scary. I don't, I don't know. I was like eight, but yeah, it was <laughs> so scary. I saw Alien way too early. Mm. And I yeah. think in the way, in the same way that a, no, I'm going to, it's not, this isn't good. In the same way that like Don Bluth formed a lot of like, uh, furry tendencies in people in their later life. I think Alien kind of formed me and my psyche in a lot of ways, and it's not great. It's like not a, it's not a quality. If I could like shed that, I think I would, much like a skin. Alien is perfect. I'm very I, curious for you to elaborate on that. I yes. just remember too. Are you? Uh, the first thing that I remember ever scaring me was the Velociraptors at the beginning of Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Watch the movie um, for years. I could only watch the special features. Recently, I put together, I know we're out of time, uh, recently I put together the Lego uh, giant Jurassic Park set, which is un unreal and so beautiful, and there's a tiny, tiny detail in it that is uh, like a dessert plate, and there's a t the tiniest little green jello. And it No way, it, like, in the Lego? In the Lego, I can bring it out in a bit, it, in the, and it's a tiniest little green jello, and it gave me like vi a visceral response oh because it's the scene where she's got the leg the jello in her hand and she's about to eat it and she sees the velociraptor and then the kitchen scene happens and it's burned into me so intensely that looking at this tiny je lego jello made me like feel an, like I, I teared <laughs> up i was so afraid in that moment right it's so good that's awesome that's like a plus <laughs> that's awesome i'll rapid fire off my two real quick they're both incredibly mm -hmm. embarrassing uh, Minority Report, as a kid, scared me to death. There's precogs just laying in the pool. I could not handle it whatsoever. I would just picture them in my closet. No good. Um, okay. And then The Tale of the 13th Floor, which is an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, Still yeah. Were, burned ooh, into my were brain. scary Are You Afraid of the Dark? Absolutely oh. awful. You know, Can't go back. I was going to scold us for going way over time, but I just remembered my real answer, and it is mm -hmm. Jumpstart 4th Grade. Jumpstart fourth grade. There it is. <laughs> Scariest game of all time. You're like, 
there's a witch that will like surprisingly fly down like as you're solving puzzles and running around and that every time that witch came on screen i would run out of the room i hated it why so is the timer much. going up <laughs> You what? <laughs> it's respecting <laughs> our decision. Timer going up. It's respecting us. Oh, this is, I was, it's, numbers go up. That's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Let's move on. Let's okay. move on. Um, what we got? I'll go. The question is from Gooner Bear, and mm -hmm. it is, what is your process for deciding which, uh, what mechanics to include in elections? Your question. Yeah, um, we do. Okay. Sometimes we we generally have the theme picked out for upcoming seasons. Like we know more or less what we what we want the season to do. Like kind of where we want it to go, um, and we'll try to think of things within that theme. Often we'll have decrees or blessings that kind of share in that theme. Um, sometimes it's based around a, like a new system that we've planned. We'll put. We'll like. We'll. Um, put everything, we'll base everything around like one new system or something. A lot of the times it's just based around like what we can do. Uh, we're pretty limited, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we also are tracking like you know, so much of what we did before too. So we want to make sure that like we're not using any ideas that are repeating ourselves or um, you know, it's because every week should feel like a surprise in, in some way. Yeah, and, and yeah, so and we'll have it's it's usually like a few weeks out, so we can kind of place we have a, a bunch of decrees that we can that we're considering. Um and we might, you know, look at how what the schedule would look like or how this how it would feel season to season, um if we implemented those in that in that order. So we're yeah. we're able to kind of like shift things around. And we do have like a long list somewhere just like uh, all of our terrible ideas so like mm -hmm. a lot of the <laughs> time it's just a matter of going to that list and being like okay is it time for the fifth base yes great put it on the list like there's we've got a whole pool of weird dumb ideas don't worry it will always be surprising <laughs> uh mm -hmm. yeah i don't think there's any rhyme or reason beyond that i think it's also like you know looking at the season that we're currently in or what we just did, um, how the community reacted to it, getting a sense of where everyone wants to go and saying like, okay, do, do we need to change some things? Um, do we tweak one of these decrees? Um, and then also like, you know, it depends on like how many we know are going to pass uh, because we'll, we'll put them up against each other and say, well, you know, if there's one that's like obviously a shoe in, then we might save it or try to come up with something else that, would provide a bit more competition it, it really depends yeah that's a really good point because yeah well, sometimes we are like trying to learn from what we're putting out there too mm -hmm. where it's like we put out some things that uh we think that one thing is going to pass and then something else you know it base yeah takes it yeah yeah and then maybe it maybe it becomes a blessing or gets retooled later on cool I'm going to get more strict about this timer because okay. <laughs> yeah, we're I, I feel over. responsible. <laughs> like I'm the timer. I said I'm the timer guy at the beginning of this and then everybody's calling out the timer. So Okay. So um, are, are we ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is from a tree standing in center field. What is everyone's Damn. favorite kind of pizza? What? P pizza? Pizza. Pizza. What, what is yeah. What is pizza? Yeah, um, I can start because mine <laughs> immediately came to me. Um, I, I have like a favorite pizza place, which I'm, doesn't matter. Nobody cares. But the pizza that um, immediately pops in my head every time I think of that is from like one episode of Ninja Turtles where they ordered like a pizza and had marshmallow topping spread all over it. Um, that just seems perfect in my imagination. But yeah, that's my favorite pizza so you'll never have your favorite pizza that's a little upsetting no no it's a platonic ideal of pizza please, got it well, could someone please explain to me what pizza is it's like a pie but flat P pies it's are... like a bagel but larger with sauce <laughs> okay and there's, there's no hole in the middle what kind of, wait so it's a bagel there's no hole is this in the a middle. kansas there's city a... thing no hole it's a bagel <laughs> it's... okay i know what a bagel is why you immediately lose your memory of pizza joel only eats barbecue now 
<laughs> is there barbecue well, involved with pizza? There can be, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's like that great. It's like a barbecue bagel. Yeah. 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 Without a hole. With cheese. Yes. Okay. Cheese is like an essential essential ingredient. Mm. Okay. I don't want pizza now. I might get it after this. Yeah. Thanks, um, fans. My favorite pizza place is Pizza Hut. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you ever yeah. get um? Did you ever get in a demo oh, disc for Pizza Hut? I had a collection as a kid. No. Oh, I just my like God. the I big family the first boxes. level of Spyro a hundred times. I buy the big wow. family box because you can get like six meals in one. <laughs> uh, and I love meat lovers. That's my favorite pizza flavor. We can flavor? Uh, maybe like end of a season when we are, are all are watching like the finals. We can all get Pizza Hut to celebrate. Pizza course. I'd be up for that. I All can't. Right. I still can't wrap my head around pizza. This is Next not a question. Joke. I do like Pizza Hut. <laughs> Next question. Time's up. Nothing to be All ashamed right. of. Um, from Doctor Light, can you name one inspiration for baseball that might surprise fans? Um, um. <laughs> Dark Souls. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um. <laughs> Perfect answer. Um. The first thing, God, what do we even talk about? We've talked about marble runs being an inspiration. We have talked about that. Have we 20- talked about universal paper clips? Because we talked about that game so much when we were making it. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Why don't you talk about that? I don't know if it's surprising. Sure. It's not really. But yeah, yeah I mean, universal paper clips is just this brilliant, brilliant idle game that teaches you so much about how we react to patterns and numbers going up, like you're all saying in, in <laughs> chat right now. And, um, you know, it was, it was just such a cool way to. It was a really cool way to kind of comment on its on its theme directly, uh, through its through its systems and mechanics. And um, we just thought about that game a lot when we were kind of creating the general structure for baseball. We knew it was going to be, at the, at the very least, like a giant multiplayer version of a lot of the ideas that they were exploring. Yeah, I would also say this one's not surprising either, but it's not. It's like pretty far out in terms of like what it is and it was just like sports betting websites um like i went in and almost put some money down on some sports games which just felt weird but uh i mean obviously we researched that but like you wouldn't think of it as a as a reference for like a game (laughs) that was actually a brilliant Uh, call on on your part though early joel because when when we were looking at those and we were like Oh my God, these bets are so complicated, and you were just like, "Let's not actually use this terminology and, yeah. and just keep it really easy." Yeah, we like. I mean, there's so much terminology around different communities, around baseball, around betting, and none of it makes sense. So we were just like, "Let's just cut through that and start our own." And because the whole idea, one of the main ideas was to be very, very accessible. So we had to run with that. And my time is up. Look at that. I'm getting yeah. better. I would say like tonally. What? The time is up. All right, fine. That's all right. Go, to, go to Felix <laughs> first for the next one because yeah. Fish plays Pokemon. Off. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good my, one. That's my yeah. answer. Fish plays Pokemon is my. That might be surprising in some way, but yeah. Um, where are we? We're at. Uh, we just finished a tree standing in center field and Doctor Light. Keeper Sins. Nice. Keeper Sins asks, "What is your spice sona?" And the definition of Spicona is who would you be if you were part of the Spice Girls? OCs only! This is not which Spice Girl are you? Um, is what is your OC Spicona? Um, like, I think I... This is probably not true, but I think the only place I've ever heard a Spice Girl song is Chicken Little. Is that the name of that movie? Wow. Uh, oh, that's there, probably not true. I probably heard it on the radio, but... They sing a song, a Spice Girls song in that. So I don't know anything about Were the Spice Girls. Were you alive in 1999? Chicken Spice. You were alive yeah, in 1999. I was, but I was, I think, two. I remember my neighbor had yeah, Spice Girls still. posters. That's all I know about Spice Girls. Uh, um, yeah. Um, all I know, I know is they have Spice in their name. Yeah, I know Spices. I had two sisters that were obsessed with the Spice Girls, so I could tell you a lot about Spice Girls. All right. Spice. Yeah, I'm Cayenne <laughs> What's Pepper. What's your Spice song? It's it it, uh, yeah. sporty, scary. Wait, okay, maybe not that much. Who else do we have? Baby, Posh, I know there's Posh, Baby Spice. Baby, Paprika. Yep. Paprika. I've definitely seen no. the movie. Salt is Sexy. Spice. Coriander. Come on, guys. <laughs> my answer my answer for my Spice Sona is that I would be Kirby Spice. 
Kirby spice is a good one. Just eating. Then you can be all of the spices. Just swallowing all the other spices. Exactly. Nice. Turmeric well, spice. Anyway, Vore is banned, fancy. so uh, no more Vore. So, yeah. Is garlic oh. powder a spice? Technically. But it's just powdered garlic. It's in the spice aisle, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely be cayenne pepper spice. That's... I'd be cumin if I had to be a spice. Oh, that's a good choice. That is a good one. So I don't good. know if I like paprika, but I'll say paprika. Cumin's my favorite spice, besides garlics. Is garlic powder a spice is so upsetting to me right now. <laughs> I just can't. I can what? Not. That's a good question. What pops up on Google as you start to type that? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Kirby Spice was obviously the best answer here. We yeah. Just, we yeah. just, we, we do rain on everything. Call I'm it, so sorry. Felix it, it, so. Yeah, my bad. Call Time's it. up. The time nervous. is up. Sorry, I, I'm getting Anonymous a Anonymous is next. What is one of the most, wait, did we oh, already no. do this one? Yeah, yeah sorry, that's been doubled. One. Michael's next. Michael. Okay, what's the biggest takeaway you've learned from the passionate community, and how do you plan on incorporating that feedback in Blazeball itself? I think there's a lot. What do streamers do when they have to take a bathroom break? They oh leave. my god. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I, I will. I will say, we're kind of constantly looking at what the the community is giving back to us. Um, part of it. You know, like anything from like accessibility, that's been a, a huge thing. And sometimes we've been slower on getting to, to some of that just because of the relentless pace, um, things that we've wanted to just like quality of life stuff for people. Um, what else? What's a what's a thing that I mean, you're that's, surprised by? The, I mean, that's a they're describing the iteration loop of Blazeball in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. right? Which is um, observing us observing the players observing the game and and discussing it and us observing the players observing the game and discussing it and then discussing it right yeah and so it, it's it's tricky it involves a lot of we joke that we you know the keepers joke all the time that we have many eyes because we need a thousand eyes to look at everything all the time but it really does feel like that sometimes where uh how much you can take in at once and then incorporate into blaze ball really depends on the vision we had to begin with, which is what we were talking about earlier, that there is a plan and how we can re make it rewarding because that's the biggest thing. If we listened to every piece of feedback that everybody had and it probably, and tried to implement them all, mm. it probably wouldn't be very rewarding. So we try to incorporate the parts that we know will be very satisfying for everybody. And I think we've done a pretty good job so yeah. far. I, I was going to say that too. Like, I mean, we j can't implement everything that like comes down the pipe. Like I remember at the beginning, it felt like, like uh, site features and like quality of life improvements was going to be the thing. And then it was like, as soon as we got going, we realized like, oh, there's too much to do. Like we... <sighs> sifting through and knowing what like we do a lot of things that are more narratively interesting or more like new features and then we do accessibility uh and bug fixes and I, I don't know beyond that being able to sift through those tasks is like really i feel like what i've learned the most welcome back sam thanks and uh for who asked in chat i, I did wash my hands Come on, I've gotten used to that these days. <laughs> Did someone ask that in right. chat or you just... Somebody asked that in chat, I didn't just announce it. <laughs> I would have, but okay, it I was see. a question. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. one, one thing I will say is like, um, we've learned that I think it's affected our process. Um, we do have landmarks, but like we've learned over time that we can't be too fixed in them. Cause sometimes, you know, we'll get to a point where we thought we were going to introduce something or, or go down a certain narrative path. And we had to learn pretty quickly to like, listen to the community and just say, be, be willing to pivot and not, you know, be, be willing to kill our dar darlings and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Sam, everybody has a lot to say about your bike. Um, I'm yeah. really flattered. It's a great bike. I've been it's using awesome it a lot bike. these days. Do you want to introduce it more officially? Yeah, this is my no. bike. <laughs> okay. Next question is from scary Gary. Okay. As a development team that has had a successful mobile game, did you initially envision Blazeball as something that was not web-based and was more like an app? Uh, definitely I'm... talked about it. Yeah, I, I think it was more of a just... Web was like the first... It was definitely the first call to be on the web because we wanted yeah, so it for to be... Those... 
Sorry, go ahead. For those that don't know, that for those that don't know, you should describe the first thing that you made. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, before baseball, we made a game called Where Cards Fall, which was initially released as in the form of an app on uh, Apple Arcade, September last year, and it's coming out on Switch and PC next year. Um, so yeah, we we definitely that's like of course where our where we're, our most of our experiences. We've never made websites before. We're not web developers, as I'm sure it was immediately clear when you all started playing baseball. Um, but we wanted this to be on the web because we felt like it would have the fewest points of friction. You know, since everybody these days is on their computer all the time, you know, fielding a million different browser tabs. Uh, and this was a this is a weird game. So you know, we felt like if you had to even download an app to check it out, it's just another step that could uh, prevent you from from trying it out in the first place and seeing if it was for you. Uh, that said, as we started to dive into the web development, we definitely were like, hey, what if um, what if we made an app instead? Because we know how to do that. We actually don't know how to do this at all, but uh, we stuck with it, and I'm glad we did. Yeah, the the key point there is like we were like we definitely want to make a web based game, uh, but none of us know how to do <laughs> web development. So let's as long as we can get over that, we should be okay, right? Uh, we figured it out, and then we ha added people to the team that knew <laughs> what they're doing. <laughs> Uh, okay, no one in web development actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> the secret. <laughs> that's the secret. Admits it after we hire you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the first thing you yep. said on the team. I, I remember that. You're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no one knows. <laughs> no, no one actually knows. <laughs> Time's up. Time's See, up. chat says that I'm right, so I must be true. Yes. <laughs> cool. Next question. Next question. We're doing great now. Well, now that like we're just getting through these questions. How Next long? question. Oh, go ahead. How long are we going? We've been going an hour. Okay. We've been going an hour so far. So. Um, next question Not is from as great Fox. As we think. <laughs> are there any blessings, decrees, game mechanics that have been rejected, and why? Yes. Like, are we saying like rejected like internally before it ever saw? I think so. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of day. Yes. Um, There's so many. <laughs> well, yeah. Like. What? Not to before anyone says anything specific. Like we have to go through so many ideas to to get to think. We brainstorm so many terrible ideas to get to the final thing. That's why the writers' meetings are so so long sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of like, well, could we do this? And then we figure out like how that would either be impossible or would totally break everything. Um, but that usually gets us to a point. It's a lot of riffing, so that it gets us to a point where eventually we find something that that works or only breaks the game in in small ways yeah what do we want to do a specific one? Oh, um my favorite is sam always pitches audio like yes. just he wants site audio there was going to be the pe the first idea behind peanuts was that when this you is click where peanuts the button, came from yeah when you click the button there's like a peanut crunching sound and that's the entire mechanic <laughs> And I, I have just had to sit here and reject Sam's audio suggestions every day. Every, they're, getting, they're getting in. At every some time point. we add a feature, Sam's like, "Can we add audio?" Yep, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Everybody really on wanted audio know. on the boss battle, and I had to say no. Uh, and I was like, "I'll just link you a YouTube video. You can play it in the oh, background." Chat, how badly do you want audio for the next boss? No battle? audio. Oh. We couldn't even figure out audio for the stream. Like there, that's it, why there was no it, music. Listen, you cannot have autoplay on the internet. It's a nightmare. <laughs> on yeah, both sides. It's, no, it's, I lived no. through that time. It's terrible. Yeah. Does anyone you open have a website answers? and it blasts you with noise? We got that's great. seven seconds. Does anyone have any other fun answers? No. Okay. No, I don't reject anything. Double jump. But yeah, uh, double well, jump. That, double yeah, jump's a good yeah. one, actually. Double jump's an excellent one because it's a it's an example of one that didn't get rejected, and then after it didn't pass, we did the math on it and realized it should have been rejected, and then mm. now no, we should not do it. You want yeah. to quickly describe what double jump is or was? Starting the stopwatch. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Nope. So yeah, go ahead, Stephen. No, 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 go ahead. No, so, you do it. Please. I can't. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm remembering it correctly, but it. I if I remember correctly, it's any team that beats their division leader in any game gets two wins instead of one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's correct. So yeah. uh, on paper, that actually sounds, it sounds really fun. It sounds like the numbers could go up, you know, uh, reasonably. They do not go up reasonably. Uh, almost, there are way too many edge cases that lead to total and utter mayhem uh, in a way that is, and this is one of the ones that, that Stephen was really, really behind. He's like, oh, yes, yeah, I was really very good. excited about it. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then we read, it, it, and then Joel read a paper from Cyber that scared us to death. The I was thank rejecting. You, thank you so much, Sivir. I really appreciate that one because, well, yeah. I, I had been rejecting double jump for weeks and just be like, no, no, we can't get, we can't go there yet. Like wins and losses are still, we have to break down that concept first. Yeah. Uh, but I finally, you broke me down and we put it out there. And then as soon as it was like public and live, <laughs> I read the cyber paper and was like, oh no, like. Please don't pass. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Um, should I, I'll read the next one, I guess. Um, this is... Oh, I lost my spot. Does anybody know where it is? It's from Sven Mike. There we go. From Sven... Yeah. Michelle. Uh, what thing that has come out of Blazeball has ruined your ability to engage with normal, everyday humans who are not neck deep in Blazeball? Oh, that's a lot. I will say, um, a few of us on the team are actual baseball fans, which is probably one of the more surprising things for us to say on the stream. Uh, but during the uh, the World Series and just the whole postseason, you know, I'd have um, actual baseball on, like in the background, and like to see the pace of baseball directly next to actual baseball. Like a lot of people complain that baseball is kind of a slow sport this like really <laughs> it really kind of hammered it home for me yeah i just i have to i mean i actually i really enjoy trying to explain baseball to people in my life and so i just have to get it out of the way early um and just be like okay so here's what's going on blah 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 like five minutes there's a uh, jalen hot dog fingers is back like and that's interesting because xyz and i get that out of the way first and then i then I'll hang out with people, but then it's just, I'm only thinking about baseball the entire time. <laughs> it's just yeah, I, like, all of, yeah. Oh, I just say all my, none of my friends, I was like, oh, you should all sign up for baseball. And then they never did. So now I just explain plot points from baseball to them every time I see them. And it just becomes increasingly absurd and they have no idea what I'm talking about. Like the other day, a few weeks ago, I was like, yeah, we had a boss battle and they were like, okay, <laughs> let's move on from that. Cause I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. It's been, every time I'm explaining it, it feels like it's like Darmok, the Star Trek episode. And I'm like trying to explain all these things and relate to people just through weird specific references to like, oh, it's like Jalen when Jalen when the, the, the wall fell. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Townsend true. in it's the like shadows. You're looking for like the one yes. cultural <laughs> reference that might sort of apply that they know. And it's like just digging and digging and digging. And if there's none, it's. Yeah. You just make, you're making ship. constant metaphors like so it's like this other thing that you like except completely different in every way <laughs> right yeah. right time's up if, except if anyone wants to make more darmok jokes you're welcome to um i'll allow that as the timekeeper <laughs> no okay next question um should I, i'll read it okay um this is from live uh Aside from the obvious inspiration from what we, this is about inspiration from other games for early days in development. Were there other, any other games that we haven't mentioned from earlier in development that, that we look to as inspiration? I think there's maybe a couple. Slay the Spire. There it is. That's one that we looked at a whole lot. Joel, you want to talk about that? About Slay the Spire? Yeah. Uh, great game. Uh, I, Sam and I, yeah, we were playing that quite a bit when this was, uh, this, that was really early in baseball. Um, but I don't know, just, we joke sometimes about how, like, we're, it's not a joke, but how baseball is a roguelike. And, uh, I don't know, it's because when we were building it, we were playing Slay the Spire constantly. Um, I don't want to like... I don't want to go too far in depth here. Yeah, well, I don't want to go too what, far in depth One, like, either. light thing that we might be able to talk about is, um... The, the different like modifications that you see on the players and the teams, like a lot of just the way that Slay the Spire communicates their versions of that. Uh, we, we were looking at 
pretty closely because you know, Slay the Spire conveys a lot of information in a very clean way that doesn't feel overwhelming, which is also one of our goals for baseball. Mm -hmm. I, think I really appreciate how it gives everything. I mean, this is true of like a lot of systems driven games and uh, particularly like deck building games, but giving every mechanic like a definition and a name so that you and like that's kind of where the weird capitalization came from in a lot of areas where it's like <laughs> if you give if you capitalize something and like give it a clear definition, then you can reference it anywhere else and people will be able to start to put the pieces together. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to think of a good example of that in baseball, but it's not coming. Um, I have a I have a inspiration for the boss battles, uh, the design of like the way it looks, hundred percent Pokemon, uh, just like the way the Pokemon battle screen looks, because that's like the big RPG I played all the time. Uh, but also Undertale, and um, afterwards I realized that off the game, the the game that's about a got a batter guy, uh, was a huge inspiration that subconsciously. Uh, everyone should play off, by the way. Off by Mortis Ghost. It's like an indie game that was originally, I think, in French. Um, yeah. Alana, that was what's fine. your favorite Pokemon version? Like, like, game <laughs> or? Game. Yeah. Uh, I really liked uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Plat Platinum. Is that, are those the three? I think so. Platinum mm -hmm. was the yeah, first one great. I ever played, uh, and it was my favorite still. But actually, no, I, I lie. Like no, I'm a liar. It's heart, gold, and soul silver because you can ha make the Pokemon walk behind you. I'm with you. I'm 100% with you. That was that. I it's forgot about that. Too. <laughs> this is what. What was your first Pokemon game? Is is like the number one way to make anyone feel really, really old because I had a Game Boy. Year. I just didn't play Pokemon on it. So, yeah, like anyway, I feel ancient, yeah. and that's okay. Um, um, I will say that. Uh, Earthbound for me is a big inspiration for the a lot of the tone that I hear all of you writing into the game constantly and a lot of the commentary and a lot of the like the themes and stuff. I think Earthbound, I mean, we mentioned Undertale a lot, but like an, an Undertale is obviously heavily influenced by Earthbound. But for me, listening to all of you talk about this game, it, it has that same quality of horror that Earthbound constantly does. Um, while you wouldn't call Earthbound a horror game, it definitely uh, tonally touches on horror. Constantly, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. Up down bananas. The Palky Walker was the best part of Hardcore. Plus bats. <laughs> bats. Yeah, the are bats. The bats. Are, anything with a bat in it is it direct inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> except okay. for MLB the Show. <laughs> yeah, except for MLB the Show. We're not gonna mention that. Yeah. Get us started on Pokemon, and we'll go way over time. Yeah, like, yeah. sorry. There's like five other things about Pokemon that I was gonna say, but I'm like, no, I. Yeah, same. I'm the timer guy. Yeah. I can't talk over time. <laughs> can't. Oh yeah, I have uh, anonymous asks. Favorite Pokemon. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? No, anonymous does not ask that. Anonymous asks, <laughs> is there a little league baseball? If so, are there any notable teams, and where is the Hall of Fame located? Now, now, now. They somehow just crammed like we can answer any of that. three different questions into one. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can answer one of those. Which is there Which a one? baseball? Is there a little league baseball? Is that the one? Yeah. yeah. Is the answer maybe? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. So. Yeah, this is yeah, a touchy like one. This one. Life is what you make. This is it. A touchy one for sure. Yeah, life is what you make. Baseball is what you <laughs> make it. <laughs> If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are more teams. There are more teams. There are teams. Yeah, that's a teams great exist. answer, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What league they're in, we don't know. Right. Maybe. It still made more Maybe. sense than most new things that we reveal on Blazeball.com. Yeah. So. <laughs> what was the second part of the question? I'd like to answer that vaguely as well. <laughs> uh, are there any notable teams? Sure. Yes. Yeah. If if it does exist, if, if they it does exist, exist, are there any? Yes. Yeah, many yeah. notable teams. And if it does exist, <laughs> where is the Hall of Fame located? The Hall, Hall of Fame. Hall of Flame. Hall of oh well, that no, that one Hall is fame. that one is actually we've answered that one right. It's in uh, the Hall of Flame is in the trench. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. pay clearly. attention. 
Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah, on, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Anonymous. Okay, <laughs> next question with 30 seconds to spare, 20 seconds to spare. Bonus question from Twitter. Why is this a bonus question? Oh, this is from Blazeball Facts and Figures. Love of Blazeball Facts it. and Figures. Yeah. Our only t our only question that's from Twitter, so don't. Send us We're questions. choosing to answer this one because we really like it, uh, and it's if baseball was a video game, what kind of game would it be? It's an MMO. That's my final answer. Done. End of story. <laughs> um, uh, definitely a roguelike. Right. It's a roguelike. Yeah. It's, um... Was there ever a name given to stuff like Twitch plays Pokemon or Goldfish play Pokemon as was recently done or oh, yeah. ob the observer effect of somebody watches something play a thing? Is there a, is there like a a name for that? It's, and a, it's and an I'm idle game, sort genre, of. But... It's a massively multi massive multiplayer online I idle game. It's idle an game. MMO yeah. massive multiplayer I online idle game. M Moi... It's a futuristic racer. <laughs> The only real answer is the uh, that Crabs tweet, the Baltimore Crabs tweet about. Yes, that is 100% uh, correct. Just it's a random number weekends. generator, and you just toss <laughs> yeah. coins into a, a bucket, and yeah. that's. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they said it didn't hit the same, but I've done that, and if with enough imagination, it it does <laughs> it does work. It does hit the same. Are we done next with that? Next question. Next? Yeah. Yes. I yield my time. Yeah. I believe that gives us 45 <laughs> extra seconds for the next okay, question. Okay, perfect. I'll ask no. this one. No. <laughs> um, this is from Alec F. Which player or players would you most want to go to an arcade with? An arcade. Pitching machine. <laughs> I, thought, I thought about that one too. The pitching Probably. machine, because then you can do the, the bowling. What is it called? Ski ball? Oh, just to win. Just win? Ski ball. I, mean, I, I feel like I go for just the nicest, like, overall, like, friendliest person to hang out with. So probably just Tillman Henderson, you know? <laughs> oh go for the God. obvious one here. Richmond Harrison. You're the worst. Come on. Richmond Harrison, for sure. It's not close. Richmond Harrison. Also, the pitching machine you don't have to share tickets with because it's not a person. It's a pitching machine. So it can't win. Um, or it can, but the clerk would probably would give you the tickets. Wow, chat is not happy with your Tillman answer. Why? Well, well trolled. I don't understand. Well trolled. Well trolled. What's, What's wrong, wrong with Tillman? Tillman? <laughs> Can you explain it to me? Can I ask a question about Richmond? No. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce what Richmond is? Like Axolotl. Not, and that's not, you know, canon or anything, but like the way we often see Richmond represented. What what is that? Axolotl or Axolotl. Ashlotl. Okay. Axolotl. What was the second one? Ashlot? Like Ashlotl. Some people say Ashlotl. Yeah. I just learned that that's a sure. real thing a week ago. Like I'm a sure real, a actual, non mythical creature? Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, Axolotl. What? They're yeah. so cute. How do you know about what Axolotls? Did you not watch Discovery thing. Channel? Thing. I was worried that it was like yeah. an internet yeah, thing. Yeah, it's Mudkip. Mudkip is an Axolotl. Yeah, well, Mudkip isn't so real. Cute, That's like... Yeah, but it's all Pokemon are based on real things. Please what? name the name of an actual axolotl. My head hurts. You can't. See? <laughs> what? It's a it's an adorable Checkmate. salamander. Checkmate. Water salamander. <laughs> yeah. And it has the cutest little gills. They're so cute. And it looks like a little piece of coral in are some they, ways, and it's just so aren't cute. Aren't they putting those in Minecraft? <laughs> Am I Probably. Minecraft. I don't know anything about Minecraft. I was your college maybe. major. Tell us. Yeah, you tell us. Yeah, they're putting it in Minecraft, guys. It was big news like three weeks ago or whatever. Aren't you guys uh, glad that I gave us 45 extra seconds on this question to just discuss yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> I don't Chad even play Joey Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we're, yeah. I'm this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. Okay. Were there any moments where all of you were rooting for a specific outcome of a game or games and just watching baseball together moments where you switch from being devs to fans with immense spoiler knowledge what were those moments we got to talk about I would the like first to... two seasons I right like I, I would like to say though that uh part of this question needs clarification where while we might have immense spoiler knowledge we don't know how it's going to play out like i i, I want to be clear that most of the time we are as surprised as you are 
by the sim and what happens inside of it, right? So just because we have spoiler knowledge on p potential or possibility space doesn't mean we are not constantly floored by what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, we are. And so, yeah, I guess uh, first, yeah, the first couple seasons, uh, season three, the beginning of season three is one of my favorite ones. Is it, was, it, was it the beginning of season three? Yeah, because the Pies won the first two. And we had not... Oh. So we put in the rule book about Ascension. We had not programmed in or built out what that would be, but we expected that was going to take a really long time. And then the Pies won the first two seasons. We were aggressively rooting against them in season three. And then the Tigers won two seasons, and we were aggressively rooting against them too yeah. so that we could... That a we, little bit more time. Uh, that, yeah, we just didn't have to implement essentially. Yeah, that's one common yeah. thing. I always root for what gives me the le the least amount of work. <laughs> so. Yeah. So we thought we thought the Hall Stars were going to lose. Yeah. Right? Like we, we were, were really worried they were going to lose. Yeah, we were watching right. that fight, and we were like, "Oh no! Like <laughs> they're going to lose this." I think so. my favorite one is absolutely the return of Jalen. And the oh, fact yes. that we this so this is where we had spoilers. This is a great example of us actually having spoilers. Where for all of Monday, we hung out on Zoom calls together anytime there was a solar eclipse, just waiting for it to happen, and, and it didn't. The sim did happened. not give it to us for an entire day. Oh yeah, and it was agony it was agony knowing that it would probably happen not probably knowing that at some point probability dictated that it would happen and not being able to know when or how it would play out or yeah. what it looked like or whether you know chain lightning would happen and all this other stuff and so and that it that to me was yeah it happened to the breath mints like jalen played the breath mints for the very first thing and just like that's right Hit hit like three players on the breath mints right off right off the bat, <laughs> off the off the bat, uh, yeah. And so I was sitting there like that whole Monday, just being like, my favorite players are gonna die. Like I it's yeah. I, I have done this to myself. I have fl flown too close to the sun. My players are going to die. <laughs> and like yeah, every meeting we were having, we we're like, oh, this is it. Like this is the one. Oh yeah, we would be in the middle of a writers meeting, and then everybody would stop talking and just wait. <laughs> to see like what would happen in that in that inning and and nothing is the answer which again i would say agony is the word that i would use to describe that yeah mm -hmm. it was awful I'm, I'm seeing chat also ask like uh wait a minute like bad ending for season 10 confirmed and like yeah like the hall stars they could have lost could have lost mm -hmm. and it was bad and we thought for a minute there it was going to happen i mean it was it was close Fortunately, Jalen kept sabotaging and we were actually on chat, I mean, on Zoom watching very stressed out and cheering for the Hall Stars, um, but also cheering for like someone to be incinerated because we yeah. knew that they needed more spirit to hang on. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff that like barely happened in that that could have happened or didn't happen at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. That fight, could, a lot more things could have been triggered in that fight. So that'll be like really when we, we when we tested it, like dozens of players got incinerated, like over and over <sighs> and over again. People were getting incinerated, and I think literally everyone keeps saying Sebastian. I think Sebastian was the only one mm -hmm. who got incinerated. It's one or two. I forget which. Yeah, yeah. I think like, there might have been two. We missed one at one point. It was and two. Then, yeah, it's wild. Yeah, <laughs> it's wild. Just like that whole chain yeah. of events was pretty like Jalen being swapped back to be the pitcher for that team was just because of the idols board and that you yeah. know that was the same one that sent tillman back like mm -hmm. that i mean imagine that imagine that whole fight if J, uh, jalen wasn't pitching it like it just everything yeah. could have been so yeah. different so different. yeah uh, oh and also i'll say um can i talk about scorpler real quick oh, yeah yeah yes. oh so yeah scorpler if every anybody knows scorpler has the the feedback the headphones uh which protects scorpler from feedback so if scorpler was in the 14th slot jalen would not have swapped back onto the hall stars um or into the hall and they probably would have lost so yeah. if you think about it tillman henderson really saved the day and that, yeah. stepping in front of that's Scorpio also another thing where we were like that spot so that the feedback could happen. We like rigged it by just spending our own peanuts on Scorpler to get him 
<laughs> to get him out of that yeah. spot. <laughs> <laughs> like in the game, like the the peanuts that we had earned normally were like <laughs> Yeah, we were like, please, we just Scorpler cannot be fourteen. Like if the just community like, it would be such a nightmare <laughs> if he was fourteen, because then it's like what was the point of that whole that fourteenth slot? Like yeah. nothing would have happened. <sighs> To be fair, we did not make a different a dent with our. No, we did nothing. No. <laughs> nothing. Not, 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 <laughs> we were like, like, yeah, okay. we, like one day we were. Spending it was a peanuts. sentiment only. I was only. so stressed yeah. out. Yeah. I was like, I I'll put I my like two hundred, my two hundred yeah, peanuts on Scorpler. Like yeah. I, I was, I was like, so <laughs> stressed. It was just, I just kept watching Scorpler fall back into yeah. fourteen. He was fourteen like all week. And oh. then... All right, I'm cutting us off there. I reset right, the right, timer right. twice for that one, so we did a full six minutes there. Oops! All baseball. Oops! All Scorpler. Do we okay? Yeah, we so are, speed run some of these. Yeah, are we? What do we plan? Should we do like a couple more, maybe one, two more, and then do our announcement? Or how sure. long? How long do you guys want to sure. go? Let's do it. I'm I'm okay. I'm in as long as they are. We can just watch the number just dwindle on. on yeah. yeah. We will stop the stream when there are zero people watching. Yeah, yeah we've been consistent. So. <laughs> and then it just turns yeah. into writers' room tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if anyone came in late, we do have a special announcement once we're done with all of our questions. Yes. So stick around for that. Sounds like we're gonna be answering some more. Uh, do you want me to, I'll ask one. Cool. Um, okay. Um, who, <laughs> this is anonymous. Who is your favorite player, living or dead, and why is it Richmond Harrison? <laughs> Blood, uh, I think. I'll start. Uh, my favorite player, living or dead, is Richmond Harrison. Um, I don't, be, and it's because this question made me say it. <laughs> Nick, anyone else? No. Yeah, I think you spoke for all of us oh, there, yeah. Joel. That's. Should we? Do you guys want to go back into Axolotl talk or like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can no. talk about Axolotl for another <laughs> one minute and thirty seconds. Hmm. Next, okay. next question. Next question. Uh, from Anonymous, what would everyone's baseball blood type be? I don't know all the blood types. Ooh. Yeah, I can actually pull up, like, the blood types. <laughs> uh, I'm grass, for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't know, know what they are. <laughs> I'm probably oh no. Mm. Oh no is yeah, good. I think I'm absolutely oh no. <laughs> yeah. Spoken like a true producer. Uh, yeah. Blood type. <laughs> um, while you look your blood types up, I'm going to ask another question. Yeah. And you can you can do that. Um, how do you manage? This one comes from uh, Sarkis Sarksus 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 Sarksus. Uh, question: How do you manage the state of a baseball game? Did you have to make major changes to handle things like player repeating at bat? Or targeted shame. Uh, um, you can answer this one, Joel. I mean, major changes is a is happens weekly. Major changes happen constantly. Is uh, this? Well, yeah. I feel like this is asking specifically about. Uh, let me restart the timer too, because we. Oh, my blood type is fire for the firefighters. The state. This feels fire. like a a code question <laughs> about managing the state of an individual <laughs> baseball game. Is that? A, yeah, Maybe. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's what it's asking. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess it's a code question. Yeah, uh, we have variables, um, and those variables we set to values, and <laughs> see these va variables they hold <laughs> values, right? They're like Welcome a box that holds a value, and then oh, no. yeah. <laughs> I, I teach computer science. ETSC flashbacks to university. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, and then when we like want to do something, we usually. You, like use those variables <laughs> yeah um, like we check like the score of a game is a variable like the number like the number like if a game was like two three to two three and two are variables um and then we we compare them against each other right and then okay I'm i for sure would have gotten I choose, I choose test. base blood i, I want to be base blood because Base instincts rules. I didn't start that whole. I didn't start the timer, so I'm actually gonna restart my answer. Oh no! Um, oh my god! These games are uh, data. There's data, and the data has information. 
And there's uh, data types, of course. Don't right. forget those. There's data types, and those different data types are different. And so yeah. when you want one thing, you use one, and then when you want a different thing, you use one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we have, we take those data types, and we put information, and then we combine them. And when that's done, uh, there's, there's baseball, right? Yeah, it's really this simple, is actually. actually. Um, this is, a, for anybody that's looking into getting into the games industry, it's a really good example of a programmer test right there. Right. Joel's answer. Right. I, yeah. I might need to break out my whiteboard for this because it's really, <laughs> it's getting complicated. Yeah, I right? wasn't quite following, but maybe you can, you can diagram it for me later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me restart the timer here because I feel like I'm going to need more time for this. I feel like we haven't been clear enough on how this works. Right. So numbers go up. Yeah, we can we can we can move on. To the Sometimes <laughs> down. Okay, fine. Are you in Blair Witch? What just happened? <laughs> I turned off all the lights. I'm having I'm having uh, eyeball problems. Sorry, apologies. Okay, no worries. To... You in Blair Witch? Put back on my put back. I'm gonna go stand in the corner in a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Next question. Yeah. Um, I totally lost her. Over. Oh, uh, here we go. Did you originally plan for the 20 teams to be mostly permanent fixtures in baseball, or has the fan reaction and connections to the teams changed your plans for the permanence of the teams? Pretty easy one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, those are great questions. They were I mean, always permanent. Election one had relegation, and we like when we thought that up, we kind of figured it would be a recurring decree almost every season. Like well, that was the. Is that the only one we ever brought back for another election? Because we put relegation. Yeah, back it got trounced two. both times. Mm -hmm. it was yeah. There. yeah. And yeah. yeah, and I just remember. We reading. got the message. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty yeah. quick lesson. Yeah. Yeah. We got the message there. In general, just the community doesn't like negative stuff in the election. Like people avoid the, you know, impair your division rivals. So yeah. boring. Yeah. You guys are too nice. <laughs> Too nice. Uh, an another really simple one from Adam Streeter. Uh, how did the art style, site design, icons, etc., for baseball develop? That was pretty easy. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, the the, art, the style was Sam. I mean, those are your original mockups. Um, but white text on black background. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was just our limitations. We just, we didn't really have any like artists. So we just did, did what we could do with CSS and I didn't even know CSS at the time. So that's what Well, and game icons is a big part of it, right? So, yeah. which yes. is awesome. Yeah, yeah my best friend game icons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, what an awesome resource, especially for, for you developers see that don't have too many connections. The old mocks, I think I've got on here. Hold on. What do you play? One of my favorite things. One of my favorite things about uh, when I first joined the baseball team is before we launched, Sam and I were talking about a little bit of press outreach, etc. Uh, man, my quality looks so bad when there's no light on here. Let me, <laughs> I'll a little bit. Uh, and I was like, well, typically speaking, we'd have some screenshots or whatever of the game, but I, I guess we just can't. And Sam, without hesitation, was like, no, no, I have a screenshot. And in the middle of the press, re the very serious press release we were going to release, uh, Sam just put a black. <laughs> a, oh my God. It's just Sam. a black. Hold on, Sam. You can't just box. share your screen. We're on a stream. You I can't. don't. Oh, is that like we're <laughs> yeah, you, can't do that. That no, okay? you can't do that. You can't just, no, like, no, it's just dangerous. It's just dangerous. Just don't do that. Understood. Well, yeah, it's, we'll post it. It was later, a black screen with just white blaze ball, <laughs> the text just written across it. And we sent it out to press. That was the. That was the number, that was the whole screenshot. It was like, yeah. thank you so much. Our logo, our screenshot, our uh, you know, promo, everything. So, yeah, uh, I love that. So, kudos to Sam for great screenshot. Forbidden screen. The word blazeball. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. Later, I did what have press ask need? me like, "Oh, so you have logos and stuff, right?" And I was like, "No, man, that's all." Yeah, we um, so we got the word baseball trademarked, and that was a very fun process because uh, the lawyer that we were working with was like, "Can you send the logo?" We're like, "Yes, it's this." And we're like, "Okay, like, do we have to like trademark like this exact like typeface?" We're like, "No, we just typed the word baseball." Like, that's 
that's it there's the, <laughs> there's no like yeah that's it it's, it's, <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool we're actually plowing through these now which i really Joel, appreciate. i'm really um, sorry man <laughs> I can. I'll throw That's one okay. out. Okay, I've That's... crossed the. I've crossed over into the laughing phase though. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to recover. <laughs> yeah, I'm really All glad. Right. I also. I also had a like an actual heart attack, so we're good. I okay. Guess. Yeah. This I is know... from. A... <sighs> Sorry. You go on. Yeah. Go next question. Next this question. is from Alex. Without getting into spoilers for any future content, what's everyone's? It says favorite blessing that didn't come to pass, but blessings pass automatically. So I'm going to say, what's everyone's favorite decree that didn't come to pass? Um, Relegation for sure for me. Yeah. Uh, any of the ones where it's like, let's uh, break up the champions or uh, nerf the champions. Blaze running. That would have been really fun. And weird. Oh, yeah. Blaze running was also a big one. Or like fifth base or whatever. Didn't that yeah. never pass? That was like, uh, we, I we, wanted we fifth base to go bad. <laughs> yeah. And then we got it. Yeah. I'm going to say diagonal world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Let's not let's not elaborate on what diagonal world is. No, at never. All. Yeah. Nope. Great. Sorry. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, yeah, okay. I think um, I think I'm ready to answer a question again. Um, <laughs> underrated one. I mean, I really like relief. Um, oh yeah, no relief is my. I changed my yeah. answer. The, it's I, I think it was up against some. It was up against wild cards and something else. I can't remember exactly. Oh, right. But like I really liked, I've been trying to get relievers in this game for so long, like since like the f first election of the t first testing season, and so I was like, well, great, like we can use these other systems that we never thought would exist for a sort of relief pitcher situation. So yeah, relief was so cool, and no one wanted it, and I don't yeah. know why. It was legitimately great. Yeah, I'm seeing the math. They're saying the math on relief was bad, and I, you're. Probably right. Um, probably, <laughs> right. yes. Is Blazeball known for good math? Yeah, Blazeball's not good f known for good math. Math is banned. So. Yeah. No, I thought I got unbanned for the, yeah, it's, uh, to calculate stuff. I don't remember. It was, it's been unbanned, I believe. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it was As unbanned. As part of the, yeah. So um, that's why I was explaining numbers earlier. I can oh, go yeah. back into that. If no, you, please. Nope. Right. <laughs> We're good. Okay, Next yeah. question. Um, from F, E P H, if you had to blall park it, how much does it cost to develop and produce one season of baseball? Bonus or alternative take, price it out in the fictional currency of your choice. Um, it is every single Monopoly dollar in the box. <laughs> I don't know how much money that is, but it's just paper, so. Yep. Um, yeah. That's I've been trying a to, tough one. <laughs> I've been trying to measure it in terms of the amount of cups of coffee that I've had. Mm. Um, so at least probably like 40,000 or... Um, a week. Yeah. A week, yeah. A a season. <laughs> Something like that. That yeah. general area. How many peanuts do you think? Two. One for Two. Monday and one for Friday. Peanut inflation oh, yeah, has gotten yeah. it's out like a, of it's control. It's uh, <laughs> counter the beginning and the end yeah i mean i guess like to be honest like for a second um, i'm not going to throw out an exact number here but uh in baseball just running a game studio and having a full talented development team is expensive and i think it's a lot more expensive than a lot of people realize um so all of you know your support in the patreon really does mean a lot because that's the main way that we're staying afloat right now so thank you very heartfelt response yeah Sometimes I can be sincere. Uh, yeah, every now and then. Um, I want to I want to address this one because it is relevant in, to recent events. Um, last night it's from Link, and last night the trial results were revealed, which unexpectedly turned out to have many in-game implications for a number of teams and the game as a whole. Did you find it difficult to reward fan-based creativity like that while also maintaining game balance and fairness? Uh, first of all, shout out to Keeper Sins, who definitely uh, handled so much of that trial in a way that made it really easy for us to uh, to sort of adjust and and reward. Um, at the end of the day, had it not been there to do that, I don't think we would have been able to to do it so smoothly. So just wanted to thank it. 
personally. Um, but yeah, maybe Steven, you can speak to that a little bit more. Um, yeah, uh, it's, do we find it difficult to reward? I mean, we're kind of constantly talking about balance. Um, we also want, you know, the, with regard to like the trial, a lot of people put in a tremendous amount of effort, um, from the keepers, um, to all of, um, the people who provided their legal expertise and, um, <laughs> did actual research and, um, so yeah, you know, we're, we're always trying to, we want to, we want to reward that kind of engagement behavior. We're always, I think, you know, we feel like we're struggling to match the, the level of engagement and, and effort that the, the community puts into it. Um, we have to be careful with what we can change within the game. You know, we don't want to break things. Um, so we definitely will talk about stuff. And I think we, we got to a, a place where we could settle out of court, you know, in a way that hopefully uh, respected the, the the fans' effort and contributions while also keeping, you know, baseball uh, manageable. Did you, did did someone incinerate Goku? Why are people saying RIV yeah, Goku? Goku got incinerated. Goku died, yeah. yeah. Yeah, go. Oh, so he's Goku only going to come back stronger. That's the Saiyan way, right? That's yeah, how yeah. that works. Yeah, okay. Goku, right. yeah. yeah. Well, this is a different uh, Goku for any, powering up. Yeah. I don't know how Goku. Yeah. How, this is Blaze Ball. Lock in snake path so you can come all the way back and sure. yeah. Got it. Should, yeah, I won't even say that. I don't want to interrupt a tender Goku moment, but um, <laughs> the, the time is the time there is for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tender Goku okay, moment. Okay, great. Quote of the night. <laughs> This one from Rare Bird Alert is good. Who wants to ask that? Uh, sure. Yep. What was the thought process behind the hometowns of the baseball teams? We have some unex some expected cities like New York City and Chicago, but also some that are, if you would excuse the pun, a bit out of left field, like Breckenridge, the former, former city of Moab, Yellowstone National Park, and Hades. Why were those chosen as baseball hosts? I don't think I pronounced Moab right. Mo Moab? Moab. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so when we were running our test seasons very, very early on, I thought we thought that everyone, everything was going to be like randomly generated. So we had a whole pool of locations and a whole pool of nicknames. And for like the first, I don't know how many seasons that I tested with, every team was just totally randomly generated. Uh, it made it easier. We didn't have slogans at the time or anything. We, I, we didn't even have an emoji, so it was just a name. So a lot of those teams were like just a pairing of location and nickname. And we wanted to keep it fun, so we threw in a lot of things that like wouldn't typically be uh, you know, used as a location. That's like Hades is in there. I wanted, I wanted national parks in there because I just nature is great. Uh, yeah, so like a lot of the teams that you see are just um, randomly paired like location nicknames and we just like latched onto them and cemented them into lore when we really liked them uh we did get our hometowns in there right everyone at the game band at the time like kind of got their choice um i was running seasons and i would post the results and everybody kind of got their choice of like if they really liked a team or it was their hometown team they could they could uh cement it i, I think some of them early on were just chosen like like sam just picked the baltimore crabs <laughs> I believe. Yeah, that was a that was a fun one. <laughs> I, I think I, I can take credit for the Baltimore Crabs, but I can also take credit for their original slogan, which nobody liked. So <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Breckenridge, I okay. just went on. I, my family goes on vacation every once in a while, so that's <laughs> that's that one. Uh, yeah. I think we've gone through most of them. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, I want to ask this one uh, from Anonymous. What are all of your favorite ice cream flavors? We already know Joel's, but you can probably repeat it. Strawberry. Fine. What did you say? S strawberry. Strawberry. Nice. I thought you said one, Sam. Uh, mint chocolate chip. That's the thing that I've liked the longest in my life. Not a good joke. Uh, mine is Ben and Jerry's half. Uh, I almost said half baked. That was my my old favorite. It's actually uh, milk and cookies now. It's the best nice. Ben and Jerry's flavor. Pralines and cream. Great. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go with moose tracks. Yeah, solid. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, milk and cookies is half baked, but better. Everybody who likes half baked. <laughs> In my Not opinion. thrown. Uh, I love half baked, but milk and cookies is like rarer, uh, because I can never find it. But it's I, so good. Can I? Can I just say? I'm not a big ice cream fan. Can I just put that out yeah, there? Yeah, so uh, I don't eat ice cream. I don't eat ice cream. So. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I do like strawberry, but like, honestly, I avoid. If somebody gives me ice cream, it's just there's too much sugar. I can't. You avoid I would, ice cream. I, I would eat ice yeah. cream every yeah. single meal if I could. Just leave I ate the money I spent on ice cream, on ice cream in college was probably more than I spent on college. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a lot. I, the, did you have like in your? Way, Go ahead. Well, I was just going to ask uh, Aletta if in her dining hall she had unlimited ice cream. Yeah, but it was soft that. serve, and I'm not a huge soft serve fan because it's like mm, basically I get yogurt. that. Yep. Uh, but what I would do is I'd go to the 7-Eleven near my dorm and buy ice cream every day <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't have a freezer in my dorm, obviously, So, and I only had a fridge, and I didn't want melted ice cream. So, Understandable. I, yeah, I prefer crunchy snacks. Uh, I don't want sweet. So I just want, like, give me some chips and salsa. That's my ice cream. Yeah, I, I just, I avoid eating ice cream by telling people I don't eat ice cream, which isn't true, but over the years has become true by virtue of just me saying it. And that's how I don't overdose on pralines and cream ice cream every single day. <laughs> you guys, I'm glad you I could share. ice cream s- sandwiches as, as your favorite ice cream because i love ice cream sandwiches oh, I that, is, yeah. obsessively that has your mine. crunch a little bit yeah that is really i, I do like that more than just straight up ice cream and i do like ice creams mm-hmm. that have crunchy things in them because then it gives me some crunch i also um i've been recently making milkshakes uh using bananas that have, that are like mm. mushy i eat all my mushy bananas by making milkshakes that way and it's the easiest way to get rid of mushy mushy (laughs) bananas in my opinion otherwise i just throw them away every night a banana shake yeah they're so good i don't know how to explain how good that is and that was at least six minutes on i know but i i appreciate it but i'm really glad i could share i think that's yeah i think that's all of the ones that we wow yeah had here there are a couple doubles like this one's yeah. double here so yeah i think i think we did it oh wow congratulations nice look at us with that beta tag yeah thank you for all, you? all you for sitting through that with our us. announcement oh, oh yeah announcement. let's do our yeah. announcement before the announcement i just want to show everybody i have um, <laughs> i've got a oh, you that's incredible know. that's the announcement look what Joel yeah. did. this this isn't the announcement but i drew this um, I only had a purple marker, so I can't. I don't want to smudge it. It's not permanent. <laughs> ball Clark, ball Clark. Nice. But I got a ball Clark, so perfect. That's that. That's the announcement. That's the announcement. No, 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 Everybody, go home. No. no, it's not. Okay, announcement time. So, was everybody ready? Let's build some hype. Let's throw some. Uh... Do you have a drum roll? Do you have a soundboard ready, Joel? Everybody, oh, everybody sounds? throw baseball emojis in the chat. I don't know. What, They're what baseball do, What do streamers do here? Like, I don't know. Uh, what do streamers do? Post your favorite soul. memes. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> okay, announcement time. No, no pog champs. <laughs> so, uh, I'll start off with some, um, it'll be mixed news, but um, we still... To be totally transparent with you, we do not have a date set for season 12 of Blazeball. Uh, we are we're gonna get it right, and we have a lot of cool plans, and we are going to make sure that season 12 is amazing. So we don't have a time allotted quite yet, but we absolutely miss ba- Blazeball, and we want more of it. I maybe some of you want some more Blazeball, so we figured out a different way to celebrate. Blazeball and have some Blazeball games. And so, without further ado, we would like to announce the inaugural Internet League Blazeball Coffee Cup. Yay! So the Coffee Cup, this is going to be an exhibition tournament, kind of like World Cup style, where 
We are going to have 16 teams participating over four rounds. It'll work a lot just like the playoffs do in baseball. Um, and every, we're going to go slow. So every Tuesday, we're going to simulate a full round of this tournament. Yeah, it's a tournament art, guys. Yeah. So um, this is going to start this upcoming Tuesday. We're going to have the first round. So um, the, the players of the league, you're still going to see all of your favorite players. Uh, they're just going to be regrouped into their temporary new teams. They'll be playing for the pride of their preferred style of coffee. It's the coffee cup. You guys get yeah. it? Coffee cup? Get it? <laughs> We're waiting for chat to say they get it. Cup of coffee. You get it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, and this is outside of league play. There's no real permanent ramifications. No um, permanent stat changes. You shouldn't expect, this is, like, this big... This for honor. Yeah. yeah. No big story beats. We just really... Uh, uh, the players yeah, no are player safe. no player incinerations. Yeah. Um, All your faves are safe. You're good. Yeah. You'll be good. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about here. Yes, yes, there will still be betting, of yes. course. Yes. Betting. Absolutely. Coins, for sure. This is for bragging rights. Oh, yeah. So, a little bit more detail on the teams themselves. Um, <sighs> there are 13 different types of coffee in the game. So, uh, those... Well, those 13 types of coffee will have their teams, and we've, we've set them up. They're very fun, fun new teams, and you'll get to see your players mixed and matched on those 13 teams. But we also have three special guest teams invited to participate in this tournament. Three special guest teams. What? Three special guest teams? Yeah. <laughs> Who could it be? What oh could gosh. they be? So... We're very excited to have them. The first team that we've invited are the Society Data Witches. Yay! This is the cyber team. There, we're very excited to have the cyber team join us, the Society Data Witches. Uh, they have put together some fun information for this team, and we can't wait for you to see that. Yeah. Um, Second team, you may have seen this already on Twitter when it was announced. Um, where there's a group of artists that came together and had a really fun time doing some art for their blazonas. And, That's already uh, got it. it incredible. <laughs> so we will have the pandemonium artists in the coffee cup. Yeah, wow, no way, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen that, definitely just go search hashtag Pandemonium artists on Twitter. Yeah, it rules. They're yeah. so cool. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. I wish we could put the, their art on the site for that, but you know, we just text. Yeah. <laughs> text only. Yeah. Text yeah. only. Um, the last team is a mystery. <laughs> so, uh, I Stay think. Tuned. Yeah, so the last one's a mystery. Have, you'll, have fun. you'll find out. Yeah. But we are so excited to do this tournament. It was kind of just a, um, when we were talking about how to, what to do during the siesta to give the community some more baseball or more things to do. Uh, even we want to watch some baseball games. We, we just love this idea. So we hope that you really enjoy it. You guys have anything to add? Nope. Can you wait. tell Parker to tweet about it, Steven? I will. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. If he, if he hasn't already. Send him like a few messages. Yeah. It usually takes him yeah. a few. Yeah, he takes him a while, so yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're so excited for the coffee cup. And again, that starts on Tuesday. What, I don't know what day. Uh, what? Tuesday the, the, oh, the 17th. Tuesday. Yes. Next November Tuesday. 17th. Um, I'm cup. seeing some questions, so yes, espresso will be one of the teams. Yeah, <laughs> espresso exists. It's just do not worry. There um, is an espresso team. There will be weather, yes, but not the weather you're used to. It'll be some new stuff that is not dangerous. Well, <laughs> maybe <laughs> careful. <laughs> that will not permanently affect any of the players you like. Yes, don't yes. worry. They just don't worry. 
Just don't worry about it. Everything We're is not fine. being cryptic. We're no, being it's... hyper specific. There's a big difference. <laughs> right. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's not. We're we're excited to bring it to you. Um, what's the coffee? Oh, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm reading through the questions, but they're going very fast. It's mostly benign weather. Yes. Yes. Mostly benign. Yes. Um, will Case Sports be participating? Uh, potentially, I believe we will have the effects. Some of the effects, the results of the trial implemented by the coffee cup. So you can expect to see some of that. Um, I will say not all of the players in the league will be put onto teams. Um, or some of them may be sitting in the shadows on some of these teams. So you, they might not participate, but you will get a whole bunch of them playing. Um, there will be betting. Um, yeah. There's some other stuff that we still have to oh. figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need to flute to new teams. We'll we'll figure all that out, uh, and it'll be it'll be obvious on the day of. So. Yeah. We won't yeah. make you like be super confused about what's going yeah. on. Oh, and um, it will only be living players. Living, oh yeah, living yeah. Players. We should specify no dead players. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So yeah, thank you all. Thanks, everybody. Before we all sign off, um, chat, if you could just give some love to these four at the game band. They're all putting in so much amazing, amazing work uh, into, into this game. It's really been the, the real majority of our lives for the last you know, three months or so. So uh, just give them a little thank you because they deserve it. Thanks, thank chat. And, and, and also, and honest, and also sincerely, yes, and thank you, Sam. Um, and sincerely, thank you to all of our patrons that patrons that sent in questions and everybody that has continued to support the game because um, we're still trying to make this sustainable um, and we would not be able to do this without you. So thank you. The community is we're doing a great, great time. Job. Thank you all so much. Cool. All right. So I'm going to that. Does anybody leave a chat? How do you leave a stream? Like, Should how do you I, sign off? I'll put the music back on. What if I yeah, put, yeah. We're gonna put be, the music We're going to be on. streaming yeah, the rest of Voice Vault now. All right. Yeah, so yeah that's it. It's yeah. now a development We don't know how to turn it back off. <laughs> and we'll be back, we'll be back <laughs> next month, right? Yeah, the music is back on, everybody. Please. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bed because it's 11 o'clock. Oh yeah. Please imagine yeah. music. Perfect. Turn off. We're Thank turning you, off the lights. Thank, play video games, so. Thank you for wrangling the cats here too. Um, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Joel. Look at us, and then I'm gonna slowly fade us out. How does that sound? Is that cool?